Who remembers the stinky smell in our previous Model X? For service, press two. Hi, I have a weird smell coming from my HVAC system in my Model X. We didn't really follow much of a maintenance schedule at all with our car. Now, Tesla used to recommend getting your car serviced every 12 months, but most people skip that and go every two years, and that's pretty much what we follow with our car now. After we learned that Tesla was basically just replacing the battery keys and the wiper fluid. Well, as of this week, Tesla's basically saying that you don't need to come see us every year, or at all. I want to thank Shine Armor for sponsoring this video. Shine Armor Ceramic Wash & Co is pretty simple. Just spray and use the supplied microfiber towels to wipe off. Using this method is not only the preferred way to detail a Tesla, but using less water is also way better for the environment. The special compound encapsulates the dirt and brings it up to the surface. Then just gently glide the towel to pick it up. Check out ShineArmor.com for more info. Alright, let's get back to it. Since the Model S rolled out in 2012, Tesla has always stood by their service recommendation interval of every 12 months or every 12,500 miles. But for a car that doesn't need oil changes, fuel filters, spark plugs, or emissions tests, that seemed like a fair enough deal. But as of recently, Tesla is actually saying that you don't even need to bring it in every 12 months and they're moving more towards an as needed service approach. They've analyzed billions of real world miles in their fleet and over a half a million cars worldwide and it's shown them that the cars rarely even benefit from those annual visits. Tesla is also getting rid of those three and four year maintenance plans. Those are something that a lot of owners really struggled with the decision of buying those up front with their cars. And it's cool because Elon's even gone on the record talking about how the cars probably won't ever need to have their brake pads replaced due to the regen braking. And Tesla's really sticking by their brand when it comes to their maintenance needs. Now, even though there are far less moving parts in the EV, Tesla still recommends some basic maintenance, but almost all those can be done by a mobile technician coming to your house or your work. They are the cabin air filter. Tesla recommends you changing this out every two years. This is what we failed to do in our previous Model X and it was a bad idea. The HEPA filter, if your car has one, they recommend you switching this out every three years. Tires, rotation, balance, and alignment should be checked and done every 10 to 12,000 miles. A brake fluid test. They recommend you test the brake fluid for contamination every two years and replace as needed. Tesla also recommends an air conditioning service every two years for Model S, every four years for Model X, and every six years for Model 3. And lastly, brake caliper cleaning. Tesla recommends cleaning and lubricating all brake calipers every 12 months or 12,500 miles, especially for cars in cold weather regions. And again, just about every one of these can be done from your service technician visiting you at your home or at your work. So what are your thoughts on this? Have any of you guys purchased that three or four year maintenance plan? Did you find those annual visits worthwhile? Let us know in the comments below, and if you know any new Tesla or EV owners, make sure you share this video with them, and thanks for watching.